Jurors in the Elizabeth Holmes fraud trial were back at work today. They resumed deliberations after a short holiday break. KBX 5's Kit Doe is at the federal courthouse in San Jose. A lot of hurry up and wait here in downtown San Jose. Jurors have been at it now four days and been deliberating a total of about 30 hours. It would seem that they are taking their jobs seriously. The jurors are mulling over 11 counts of fraud and conspiracy with testimony from 32 witnesses that spanned three months. Legal analyst Michelle Hagan says for a federal case, sorting through this much evidence is not unusual. A lot of emails, a lot of PowerPoint presentations, a lot of text between Holmes and Balwani to decide whether they were working together to find guilty on the conspiracy counts. They have quite a bit, bit of exhibits to go through. And, um, you know, it's a miracle that 12 people can agree to anything. The last time the jurors met was Thursday, where they asked to replay recordings of a 2013 conference call where Elizabeth Holmes pitched the technology to investors. Hagen has been following the case closely and believes now that we are wrapping up day four of deliberations, Holmes will be found guilty on at least some of the charges. It's usually a situation where the jurors are trying to convince each other um, to reach a certain verdict sometimes. They can reach a verdict, and sometimes they come back with a compromise verdict where they find guilty on some counts and not guilty on others. And I think if they continue past this week, it's going to favor the defense. It'll favor Elizabeth Holmes. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.